This video is a topic I'm extremely interested in, and that is we're going to be analyzing the differences between the Jedi and the Sith, and I'm going to go into a lot of the things that I believe are the biggest differences, not everything because that would end up being like an hour long video, but I want to go into the things that really separate these two groups and talk about how in some ways they're similar and in a lot of ways they're very different. And with a lot of this video, we will be obviously talking about the difference between the light side and the dark side. In fact, I would label that as the most important thing that separates the Jedi from the Sith. One attempts to be firmly cemented in the light, and the other attempts to be firmly cemented in the dark side of the Force. So that's really probably the most important thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the difference. One group chooses to use red lightsabers and the other group chooses to mainly use blue and green with some other colors mixed in there. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and get started. So in the views of the Jedi and even a lot of the Sith, they believe that the light side is the core force. That that is how the force is naturally in the galaxy and that is how it runs through everything. It's the light side. And that the dark side is actually the unnatural aspect of the force. Not to say that there isn't dark side in the galaxy because there obviously is. It's just very prominently the light side and that is what generally binds everything together. And the dark side is more of the unnatural corrupt version of that. I also want to make it really clear that the light and the dark they both form the force. The force is one big all-encompassing thing. The thing that really distinguishes a Sith from a Jedi is how they choose to use this power. Now a Jedi uses this power in conjunction with the force. They let it move through them as a unit. They're moving together as a stream, as a unit. And that's why when they become one with the force, when they try to just fully engulf themselves in the light and truly attempt to become one with the force for even a few seconds a unit with the force that is when the jedi are at their most powerful now the sith actually have a very different view from this the sith actually have the view of taking the force and bending it to their own will which is exactly what their code talks about they talk about gaining power and through that power they can gain victory it's all about me how can this be used to further my goals how can i become more powerful they view that the Sith is not something that runs through everyone and should be used together in junction with the Force. They view that they should be able to take the Force and bend it to their will. That is why they're able to do many things that most Jedi can't. Not all Jedi, but most Jedi can't. That is exactly why in Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine says that the dark side of the Force, some people consider it to be unnatural because the Jedi and many others, like I said, even some Sith, view that as not the core state of the force they view that as a corrupted version of the force serving oneself rather than working in conjunction for the greater good it's always in service of you and that is where the sith and the jedi differ in that regard i'd like to talk about a few abilities that the dark side actually allows and that a view that a gray jedi kyle katarn from the eu actually has that i in fact agree with is that no ability is inherently evil even though they have to touch into darker emotions, that does not mean that it's evil and can't be used for good. That is the Grey Jedi's Kyle Katarn's view. He views that he can use Sith Lightning and use more extreme ways of utilizing the Force without really letting the dark side corrupt him. That's another big factor, is he believes, along with other Jedi like Mace Windu, that they can utilize the dark side of the Force and let it pass through them without actually letting it corrupt them. Now that's something that a lot of Jedi can't do. In fact, it's very specific to a few of them who have iron wills that are able to have the dark side touch them but not have it permanently scar their bodies. That's something else. The dark side actually corrupts one's body if one is immersed in it for a long enough time. That is why Palpatine, the reason why he's so scarred and deformed and ugly is not because he got Sith lightning deflected back on him. It's something that's called dark side degradation, which is something that occurs in various Sith specifically and dark side users that have immersed themselves in this for a long period of time. Because the Sith and the Jedi, or really the light and the dark side of the force, I would compare it to two fuses. If you lit one fuse, which would be the light side of the force, it would go slowly, but it wouldn't burn it would go slowly but the flame would last for a lot longer. 
But the dark side, on the other hand, if you lit it, it would be very bright. It would be a very bright spark, but it would also burn out very quickly. And that leads me directly into my next point, and that is what the major benefits of each of these aspects of the Force are. The dark side is extremely powerful, but it wears out. That's not saying that Sith, who are exceptionally powerful, cannot last for long periods of time in the dark side compared to even a regular person. That's just saying that they don't have the ability to actually transcend the physical plane and become a force ghost that the Jedi do have, which is ironically and very interestingly, the Sith's ultimate goal is to live forever. And what's great is that that's not something that they can obtain through the dark side of the force. They have to go through the light side of the force in order to do that. That's an ability that is really exclusive to the light side of the force. We even know Darth Vitiate, who really was the master at living for a long time, who is a Sith Lord, actually did end up dying, which is really interesting, because his ultimate goal, and along with other Sith, like Darth Plagueis, they will eventually end up dying if they aren't dead already, and that's something that the light side does grant people. We see that Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin, they were able to transcend the physical plane and essentially almost live forever. So lastly, I'd like to talk about a topic that I addressed in my Are All Sith Evil video, and that is that the Jedi primarily believe in control and the Sith believe in power. The Sith believe that whatever they can do to further their own goals and to gain the most power as possible is what they should do. While the Jedi, on the other hand, believe in control and the betterment of other people, and they're willing to go through different avenues, each person, in order to get their goals. One is very indirect, and the quick and easy path, which is what Yoda calls it, the dark side, the quick and easy path, straight directly to what you want to get. But at the same time, if you're going to rush towards a certain goal, you're also going to break down walls, you're going to break down relationships in order to get to that goal. The light side and the Jedi are perfect at bouncing around those walls to obtain their goals, and that's how I would describe it. So there you have it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. We really have just scratched the surface on the differences between these two because the Star Wars lore is so in-depth and so great that we can really, anyone can really read for hours about stuff like this, and it's really a great time. So I hope that you guys understand that I can't make a video that's just so long talking about every little thing. Keep in mind that this is a very condensed version of the light side and the dark side of the force and I tried to analyze it as best as possible in a video that like I said wouldn't end up being an hour long. So if you enjoyed please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, I have Star Wars videos every single day mostly including weekends. May the force be with you and have a great day.